All right, guys, this is Anthony, GM85 here with a tool from JD Chico, Amazon, eBay, uh, pretty much anywhere you can think of, uh, but got a lot of stuff to get. Uh, so <clears throat> let's see here. First one, big purchase was the four piece set of gear pulls from JD Tico from AFF. You got the six, the four, the three, and the eight for a smoking ass deal of 100 bucks. And I am not paying for that. My boss is going to reimburse that one because it's going to be a shop supply tool. I also got the Vim two piece set of snap ring pliers. One is part number SR7E, SR71, internal, external. Conveniently coming in green. We all know my favorite color. Also from JD Tico, we got the little tire gauge set and we got the, yep, fuck, corporate. And then just a little pin one. This one's gonna go in my moto bag. This one's gonna go on the boss's desk to see if he gets pissed off. And then what else did I buy here? Special moto tool here is a Bondus T45 Elkie. Because you have to buy these individually because they don't make those in sets. Specialty pliers from Sonoto, non marring. Unfortunately, they are not fully true non marring because we have that. So that's a little problem there. A little bit of tape won't hurt though on that. But you can get replaceable jaws. These are nice and spring loaded. And these are nice for those delicate plastic fasteners. Another set of pliers. This is just a replacement for an old pair I cannot find. It's a pair of 415 Channel Lux. Smooth jaw. Even though I have the pliers wrenches from Nipex, these ones are still very valid and very useful to have as you get more surface area on your jaw than you do with the pliers wrenches. Finally upgraded to Nipex bent nose. Uh, needle noses. I think these are the 45 or 90 degree. I don't remember what they, what they are. But finally got myself a nice bent pair. Last pair I had was Craftsman and they were machined really poorly where the tips were off center and they bent and chipped. So this was I think 30 bucks well spent. And then eBay purchase was these snap-on flex head sockets. Now I bought these off of eBay on purpose because A, snap-ons are back ordered for the full set at five or 600 bucks or whatever it is. This is not a complete set. This is a five piece set. So I got 11 sixteenths, five eighths, nine sixteenths, half inch and seven sixteenths. Now I need only a few of these personally right now. These are going into a special project. This one I don't even need, so this can go over here. So I really bought it just for this. Got it for a pretty good deal, 125 for all five, not too bad. I used to think these are a gimmick tool. I ran into a certain build situation where these are completely viable and now useful and no longer a gimmick tool for me. And uh, we'll be doing a video on that. Actually, you're gonna get two videos on these. You're gonna get a before I bought these videos and after I bought these videos. And then last but not least is this Dexter Russell eight inch Chinese cleaver knife. Nice, lightweight, carbon steel, nice and sharp. Now I bought this knife because I started cooking more Asian inspired food and they might as well have the knife that they use on in their cuisines. So, uh, Nice, light, sharpens easily. Nice, well balanced. Worth the money, guys. Um, it's almost turning into a go-to knife where it's uh, replacing my Western style knives, which would be stuff like Wu stuff, guys. But that's all I got for you guys. Uh, it's Anthony, GM85, and I will catch you guys later.